and today with a video wall controller which is actually really simple to use simpler than you think and if you have seen some video walls commercially or in parties events and you think how do they do this i will show you how you can do this with a simple device such as this actually not very simple but it will make our life very simple now we will be able to have a maximum of 4k displays we can have an arrangement of 2 by 2 4 horizontally 4 vertically or if we want we can go to 3 vertically or 3 horizontal now let's take a look at the connectivity so that we understand how this works we will find here on the input side an hdmi input or a usb c input actually i'm saying or but we have both of them and we can connect both of them simultaneously but we will only have as we will see in just a few moments image from one or the other at one time we will not have image from both simultaneously next we will have the audio output so we will be able to extract audio via optical audio or the 3.5 millimeter jack so i don't need to depend on the audio of the tvs or the displays i can use a powerful audio system connected via optical for example and have a great sound then we also have the video wall output and basically these are four hdmi outputs that we will be able to control as i will have the chance to show you in just a few moments in several different ways then we have the rs232 and also an infrared extension plug and a dc in at the front we will have the power button we will have the lad indication for hdmi usb type c or auto which we will see in just a few moments working and then we also have buttons for hdmi selection usb type c selection the mode and reset and basically this is it regarding the video controller now one thing that it has in common with all our devices that we have seen is that the construction is just awesome all metallic and it comes with all the accessories that's how we live towards the end for the unboxing but one of the options that we can have is to mount it on any surface it has rubber feet but we also have an accessory that we can mount it on a shelf now that being said let's take a quick look at one of the setups and here we are with a setup example for the video wall which basically will transform four individual displays into one large image now have in mind that this setup has four displays that are meant for home usage and they are upside down which i will explain a little bit later how we will achieve that but this to mention that the bezels are a bit large compared to displays that are targeted at video walls nonetheless the result is awesome we can connect hdmi or usb type c but only one source at each time we have the 180 degrees function which i will demonstrate we also have auto switching support so if i disconnect the usb type c it will go automatically to hdmi or if i disconnect the hdmi it will go automatically to usb type c and then we also have the adjustment possibility of the bezels of course with displays meant for video walls it's easier to adjust because the bezels are smaller and finally adid adjustment also supported on the video wall now regarding the control we can control via the remote control or we can control via the video wall for example if i want to change between hdmi and usb type c you can just press this button of the usb type c and we can see the led indication that it did switch from hdmi to usb type c so at this moment we have this laptop macbook pro right over here which instead of four individual displays it has this huge display right over here which makes a awesome setup now if i want to change to hdmi i can just press the button and it will go to hdmi now besides that button we can also change the mode here and do a reset on the last button but we will make some changes with the remote control which basically will have everything that the video wall has plus a few more the rotation the resolution modes and then the bezel 
horizontal and vertical adjustment. Now we are on two by two and if I want to switch the mode I can just press one by one and at this moment we will have four individual displays and if we notice the two top displays are upside down because they are actually upside down. The chin is right over here so that we have smaller bezels right over here and this is one of the great options of the video wall because if I want to fix this I just need to select my display number one which is that one and press the rotation it will rotate and if I press rotation for screen number two it will rotate and we will have the image on four displays so now I could control these four displays individually and of course if we want to go back to two by two and we also have the displays that do a reset on the image but if we want to change there we go number one number two and we can flip the image and in no time we will be able to have a huge screen for i would say a cinema setup or something similar where we can have instead of four small displays one really large display now in this particular case if i want to change to usb type c just press the button on the remote or on the video wall and it will go to USB type C or to HDMI in this particular case. So the modes that we can have at this moment is the one by one and two by two. All the other modes will depend on the number of the displays that we have and on the arrangement. We may have up to four displays horizontally, four displays vertically, three displays horizontally or three displays vertically among some other modes that we can use and besides all this we don't need to depend on the audio output of the displays we will be able to extract the audio and pass it to our stereo giving it a richer experience on the image side and also on the audio side and it's as simple as we have seen it supports up to 4k 60 hertz on for this place. Link down below with all the specifications and the ways that you can use them, also availability and the price that you can get at this moment. And honestly, I thought that it would be a lot more expensive because when we see these effects with multiple displays, we always think of a bigger device and a lot more complex and it's actually really simple at a really nice price that being said hope that the video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you on the next one mm -hmm.